Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey, what's happening? Yo, this ain't gonna be long. I've got a shitload of, of stuff to do today. I'm running around with my head cut off. Um, I still got to go see Pet Cemetery, and I gotta work on this cryptid video. I can't find any freaking oriental music for my video. That's copyright free, so I'm going through it right now. So y'all bear with me. Okay, yo. Shazam, let's get right into it. Shazam was good. Another win for DC. Uh, will this make a billion dollars? No. Should it make about six to seven hundred million dollars worldwide? Yes. Um, this was a very heavily adult themed movie for a PG-13 rating. Uh, very, very uh, adult uh, manner, subject. Uh, the children uh, issues with Billy Batson and, and, and Thomas Savannah. Very, very. It was sad. It was sad. Uh, low cast. What's happening, Mark? Uh, Mark, I see you. James, Chief Wildfire, Cupcakes, Akiba, Joseph, Chris, uh, Elise, Elise, wait a minute. Elise, I don't want to mess up your name. Please forgive me. So let me get right into it real quick. Uh, Thomas Savannah's backstory. Very tragic. Very sad. Uh, looking for validation from the father. He never got it. So in the beginning, uh, he's in the backseat of the car. And his dad is telling him, you know, what, how to be a man, you know, type of dad, to, to, you know, telling his son, you got to be a man, be a man. This, this, this is what men do. The older brother in the front seat, not helping the situation. Um, he is brought in to, to make a choice from uh, the, the wizard. Jaimin Huntsu. Let's give a shout out to Jaimin Huntsu again in another DC movie. Once again, if you've forgotten, he was the, one of the, he was the, the King Merman. The merman in, in Aquaman that got killed by uh, the older brother, the evil guy, right? The, the ocean master. Shout out to Jaimin Huntsu out here getting DC and Marvel checks at the same damn time. He is the last of the Council of Seven Wizards. If, you, if you're a comic book fan, then you understand the backstory of Shazam and how Black Adam took on the seven uh, elders, the, the seven wizards. And uh, Shazam is the last one. Uh, it's good to see once again the, the melanated brother. The powers come from him. He's the last one left. His kind left. He brings uh, Savannah in for trial to see if he will make the right choice to be his champion. Uh, I think the untold stars of this movie are the seven deadly sins. I think they are the stars of this movie unsung. They are the unsung stars. Uh, if you're a fan of the movie Seven with Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, then yes, then you are a fan of the seven deadly sins that plague us all. I, I believe that they took stats. The average person commits five to six of these uh, sins a day. <laughs> but uh, so he's about, so Shazam wants to give him the powers. He has to make a choice. The uh, the Rock of Eternity. It's not just a rock. It's a it's a it's a place, right? It's a it's an underground cavern layer, whatever the case may be. And then in in the foreground, you see uh, Mr. Mime. For those that don't understand Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime is a worm, a very powerful worm, and he has a talk box. And, but in the very beginning, you see him in the worm in his little glass prison. You, if you don't know the comics, you don't know who the hell Mr. Mime is. Of course, it goes to the post credit scenes, then it, it explains who he is to a certain extent. Okay. And then he had a choice to make between Shazam's power of being a champion and then the seven deadly sins are talking to him as well. Like, yo, no, no, don't don't mess with the wizard. His powers are weak. He can't contain us. Uh, we want you to be our champion to spread um, the seven deadly sins all across the world. A lot like Black Adam did prior when the seven the council of seven had chose him. They chose poorly. So Shazam sends him back into his own reality. Savannah as a, as a child flips out. There's a car crash. The dad is thrown out. He's ejected out from the car. He's paralyzed. Um, moving forward, he spends the next 30, 40 years of his life tracing, tracing the symbols to get back to the lair so he can get back, you know, a second chance to get the powers. Uh, Shazam, growing weaker and weaker, uh, picks Billy Batson to be his champion. Um, fast forward, Savannah figures out the code. It was funny how his assistant pretty much got incinerated. When she tapped the door because Savannah figured out that you had to write the symbol down seven times on the door. Um, let me see what else. So he goes back to the lair. He basically 
cho- chose is that the um the ball of, I forget what what they call it the light ball is the reactor ball whatever he, he basically he rolls with the uh, the seven deadly sins and um they're like gargoyle esque creatures uh, he pretty much puts the work to Shazam and uh, he goes off to uh, create havoc and, and worldwide destruction Billy Batson gets summoned um, fa- foster family whatever I'm not gonna get too much into that. Um, Billy Batson also has as issues with his with his mother, with his parent mother. He was um, abandoned by his mother at, at a um, carnival, right? He finally tracks down his mother. He's like, "Hey, here I am. I've been looking for you." And the mother's like, "She got a man. Obviously, the guy's abusive. She, you know, you know how women come to the door. You come knock on the door, and they come out and close the door behind them. You already knew what time it was." And he's like, "Hey, you know, whatever, whatever." And she's like, "Yeah, you know." I, I, you know, I saw you afterwards, you know, you didn't lose me. I, I saw you. And then she admitted that she was, she was a young mother, uh, that, uh, her husband at the time was no help and she abandoned her son. So then he realized he stopped chasing that ghost and decided to accept his, uh, his foster family as his real family. Moving forward, he learns how to, you know, be a superhero. It's a lot of funny stuff in this movie. A lot of funny stuff, um, especially for PG-13. This is like really pretty much cross. It's right. It goes right up to the edge of PG-13. The, the the scenes when they go into the strip club, when they come out, Shazam comes out with chicken wings. He's like, hey, I need more money. These women are very nice and persuasive. Uh, towards the end, the family, they all end up in, in the strip club and, and they cover the Darla's eyes. She's like, I can't see. I can't see. And then I believe uh, the other one, the little boy comes out with glitter. She's like, hey, I, they, have, they have glitter. I want glitter. It was cute. It was a cute, funny movie. My my daughter liked it. I'm sure because she's at that age where she can relate to these uh these these the children antics, whatever the child antics. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, okay. So they 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 possess pretty much Savannah. Uh, they tell Savannah go find go find uh, Shazam, go kill him. Um, he's the only real threat that you have. And then there's this you know to show off this battle back and forth savannah pretty much gets the best of uh shazam the entire movie until the very end when he realizes that um he could transfer shazam's powers to his family and uh, that's what ends up happening towards the end this is why they're all in basically shazammed out if you read the comics you understand why uh megan good holy cow megan good this woman is clearly in her 40s this woman still looks like a 20 year old i don't know what she's drinking what her diet is, that woman is flawless for her age. Black Stilo, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, Megan Good, fl- that's a that's a good looking woman. That woman is aging great. You can't even say she's aging. She's just she can still play a young a young woman if she wants to. Um, yeah, it, I, Tyrese. Yes, this movie was good to me. It was good to me. Uh, let's get to the post credit scene. Post credit scene. Uh, well, before I get to the post credit scene, so the seven uh, deadly sins, uh, they they possess Savannah. Shazam figures out um, if I can get all this the, the the seven sins out of him, I can take out his magical eye, and he would be rendered powerless. There's uh, clues. The, they make reference to Batman. They make reference to Superman. Um, so the the they after the family transforms, Savannah sends the six sins to fight the family there's one left which would be envy envy is the final one so he so shazam taunts envy to come out of uh savannah tapi thank you sir appreciate it so much thank you gracias gracias and he convinces uh envy to come out of savannah savannah is powerless at this point and um the drags him back and then uh, how did he get he collects all the seven sins Pulls out the man's eye, the power ball eye, whatever the thing that they're uh, they're, they're they're attached to. Uh, they go back to the to the wizard, to the realm, to the, the rock of eternity. That's where they will be the family lair from here on out. They return the 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 the, the ball of power, whatever, and return the seven sins back to their uh, in prison, right? The imprisonment of the rock in prison, whatever they were in, the statue in, in prison, and um. So now we get to the post credit scene where it is Savannah clearly uh, in, a, in a mental frenzy, repeating the signs that, you know, he was so obsessed with trying to get back into the to the lair. 
So then you hear this little person laughing in this like little bit, little metallic voice. It is uh, Mr. Mime, the little worm you saw in the very beginning in his little glass prison. This little guy, um, he's at the he's in the windowsill and he's telling uh, Savannah, oh, you, you know, you, you primitive monkeys and you and you're with your little magic spells and your little writing. He said, if you want real magic, I can get it to you, whatever the case may be. So then they make a reference to the seven realms. These seven realms, once again, you have to read the Shazam comics. There's seven different realms. Each wizard was in charge of each realm. And so it shows, you know, Mr. Mind with his little talk box and telling Savannah, we're going to we're going to have some fun with these seven realms. Clearly leading up to the sequel, this movie is going to make money. It's not going to make Wonder Woman money or, or Aquaman money, but it's going to make money to warrant a sequel. And it's another it's another win. And in the DC lore, uh, they are clearly getting away from Zack Snyder's vision. This I'm I'm torn. I understand why they're doing it, but I liked what Zack had laid out. I like what he laid out. I think they overreacted when Man of Steel didn't make the money they thought it should have made, and then they panicked even further and um, didn't do the uh, uh, proper Man of Steel sequel, and then they rushed the Batman versus Superman, which that movie should have never been made, uh, not this early into the, the, the DCEU, but we live in a, 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 what's done is done. They are clearly moving in another direction. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not mad, I understand, but man, I wish that trilogy that Zack Snyder had planned out would have came to fruition, the whole dark side thing, and him whooping on the Justice League, and they basically had to go back in time to stop Darkseid in, in the third movie. Oh my God, what could have been? So I'm hoping one day we'll get the uh, his vision in an animated film. One can only wish. Uh, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. My Shazam movie review. Uh, Lawless, I see you, Candace. Hey, Edmund, uh, Shafiq. Hey. So um, yes, I, I like I liked Shazam. I like Shazam. It's a, it's it's a, you know it's another brick in in the DC wall of of success, and so um, we shall wait until uh, Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four next year, right? And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I gotta get out of here. I gotta go see Pet Cemetery. In the meantime, I gotta work on this cryptic video for you guys. I will throw this review also on my movie review channel. And with that being said, I'll just make this short and quick. You guys have a good one until. Another couple hours from now, you guys have a good one. Pete, yeah, Chauncey, uh, we're gonna try to get on tonight, if not tomorrow. So, uh, that being said, you guys have a good one. Peace.